sake. Don't be silly, Izzy. Come on, hop into bed. Can we catch me, Mum? I'm starting to get cross, Izzy. Now I'm going to count to three, and if you aren't in bed, one, two. I'm not tired. Do you want a story? The angel, Mum. All right. Now you have to be quiet and listen closely. You ready? Yep. Okay. Once upon a time, the year before you were born, it was a beautiful day and I couldn't stop smiling. So I decided to take a walk through the park. I saw a plush patch of grass under a huge tree. So I decided to sit and watch the world as it lazily unfurled itself around me. Suddenly, without any warning, a young man fell right out of the tree and onto the ground beside me. <laughs> Where did he come from? Out of the blue, without any warning at all. Hey! Been trying to meet you. So I offered him my hand to help him up. Sorry to intrude. <laughs> Must have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> Where did you come from? Heaven. Heaven? Straight from heaven, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know a secret? I know I can trust you. If you want, I could show you heaven. Don't be afraid. He leaned in close to me, and I looked deep into his bright blue eyes. And as I did, I felt that I was falling into them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Um, sorry, I don't feel very good. And there, at the bottom of his eyes, I saw heaven. It was the most beautiful place I had ever seen. You're not even going to invite me, huh? There were no shadows. What are you... You want to see heaven, baby? I'll show you heaven. And there was no sadness. In that moment, it was as though the world had stopped. I could see love in its purest form. Oh, God. No! And it shone with the force of a thousand suns. send you a cherub of exquisite beauty with a perfect soul. You can take care of her and she can be your eyes. Where did he go, Mum? Back up to heaven, of course. Is he going to come back? No. He will never ever come back. 